The Bolt Card Wallet is a Bitcoin wallet using the Lightning Network. Its star feature is to connect a contactless payment card for the best in-person payment experience. Each wallet you set up is hosted on a Bolt Card Hub. This server provides all of the features you expect in a modern, high-performance, and reliable system. In this video we look at how to set up your own Bolt Card Hub. You can use your hub to host wallets that you and others create in the app. To set up the Bolt Card Hub we will use a VPS or virtual private server. For this demonstration we will use Amazon Lightsail. Select Linux, OS only, and Ubuntu 20.04. Select a setup with at least 2 GB of memory, change the name, and create the server. On the server networking page, ensure that the firewall has port 80, port 443 and port 8080 open to the public internet. Add a static IP address to the server. Select the domain you will use for the hosting. Add an A record from the subdomain, Bolt Card Hub, to the IP address of the server. With the server now available, we will start the installation. Go to github.com slash boltcard and select the boltcard LND Hub, Docker repository. Scroll down to show the installation guide which starts with, install Docker. Connect to the server using SSH. Follow the link to the Docker engine installation instructions for Ubuntu. At the server command line, run each command in turn. We have sped up the video for some of the commands. The Docker installation is verified at this last step by a small program that shows the message, Hello from Docker. We can now move on to installing the open source Bolt Card Hub software. As before, follow the instructions and reference this video to see expected results. We will configure the system at this stage by editing the .env file. We are using the voltage service for hosting an LND node. In the voltage settings, copy the API endpoint value. Replace the LND IP value with the API endpoint value from voltage. Control S will save the file and Control X will exit the editor. Now edit the caddy file in a similar way. We will replace the domain.com value with the actual subdomain name that we set up earlier.
As before, use Ctrl S to save, and Ctrl X to exit. Next we generate a random 128-bit AES key in hex format for the card to hub communication. Copy the hex value and set the AES decrypt key. Now set the host domain and lightning host values as in the previous configuration files. Next we copy the admin.macaroon base64 value from the lightning node and paste it into a temporary file. We then copy the tls.cert base64 value into another temporary file. We will then use the base64 command to decode the files back into binary format. Remove the temporary files and check the folder contents. With the setup stage completed, we move on to bringing up the bulk card hub system. As before, use the commands from the instructions. First we make sure the user is in the Docker group. Then we create the persistent storage volumes. Now we can use Docker to generate the bulk card hub system and make it live. This will take a few minutes so we've time warped to the stage where the system is running and logs are showing from the different Docker containers. This looks healthy so let's now go to the web interface. Using a browser, Navigate to https colon slash slash your domain colon 8080 as shown. If everything has worked, you should see a page like this. For this demo system, there are no channels on the lightning node. For a live system you will need to have some well-connected channels set up. Now we go back to the command line and press Ctrl C to stop the system. In order for the bulk card hub to continue working when we exit the command line console, we will start it with dash D. The rest of the instructions mention ground control. This is for push notifications from the hub to the wallet and is in development at the time of making this video. To summarize, we have set up a virtual private server set up the dns record we used the instructions from github.com slash bolt card to build our system with settings from a lightning node hosted on voltage well done if you now have a working system for support and discussion join us in the telegram group